welcome back to this edition of Central Valley Business. I'm your host, Lauren Baker, filling in for Mike Scott today. And we are back with Julia Tadich, who is a mortgage broker at Clovis First, and we're very happy to have her because she's going to share some tips and tricks of the trade as far as improving your credit score, hopefully, because <laughs> we all know that's a scary topic sometimes. Uh, very scary. Yeah, so Thank welcome, you. Julia. <laughs> uh, nice to meet you, actually. Nice to meet you as well. So tell us about what you do. Well, I'm a mortgage broker, but I'm also a national lender. So I sell houses and do loans for people. I have all types of financing, and I even have a product where you can get a grant that you don't have to pay back, up to 5%, which is a brand new product. Um, but USDA, VA, any kind of lending that you need, I have those products in my office. But the other thing that I offer is when somebody comes to see me or they call me, they want to know about should they sell their house, what should they do, I'm not looking at their dollar. I'm not looking at what I'm going to make. I'm looking at them thinking, is this a good thing for you? What if we do this? Is this a better? I try, I try to really look at them holistically and give them the information that they need so that they can make a better decision. If selling is a good idea, fine sell. If buying is a good idea, buy. But I really, I'm not after the dollar. Obviously, that's how I make my living, but I'm not looking at that. That's really good to know because I think part of what people are afraid of as far as talking about their credit and stuff is they're worried they're going to be like smushed with this unexpected bill or oh. like this unexpected fee or something. Or, or the maybe... payment's going to be so outrageous. Yeah. Not what they were expecting. Mm -hmm. Lending today is not like that. Everything is disclosed up front. They know what the payment's going to be and if they're comfortable with that, great. And this is what your uh, closing costs are going to be. If you're comfortable, you know, it, that's how lending is today. Yeah, so it's not, in other words, it's not as scary as you think it is. It's kind of like dealing with the IRS. Right, which, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> that's a whole other subject. True, true. Yeah. But um, is there a range of qualifications that someone needs to have in order to, like, work with you on that? I, I tell people, if they're thinking about buying, come and see me. If you think you have credit problems, come and see me. Let's get your credit report. It's going to cost you $20 and $19, and then we'll look at it, and I'll advise you, and I'll tell you what you can do. Because basically, fixing credit isn't something anybody can do for you, but you might need somebody to help you make phone calls, to make differences in it, and truthfully, I think once with that knowledge, um, they can help fix it themselves. And it's just, it's really honestly knowledge that people don't have. You don't learn this in college, you don't learn this in high school, and that's an old adage, but I'm 60 now, and I've been in this business for almost 30 years. And I look at uh, all the clients that I have, the majority of people think their credit scores are way worse than they are, or their credit's terrible, and I would say probably 90% of them, it's fine. Um, for 640 FICO score, you can buy a house. 620, 580, you can be a homeowner, which is far better than renting. Um, getting people into a house, whatever it is, a condo or a house, far better situation. Yeah, I would imagine so, <laughs> for a multitude of reasons, of mm -hmm. course. Yes. But um, how can people contact you if they're interested in talking to you about services like these? Okay, well, he, they can call my cell phone. I'm going to give that number out, 559-977-3583. I always answer the phone. If uh, it's busy, that means I'm on the phone. Leave a message. I will get back to you. Or you can call me at my office at 559-323-2213. That's awesome. I'm easy to get a hold of, actually. That's good. Yeah. Because <laughs> especially if someone's panicking, like, oh, I need someone to talk to right well, now. And, and I, I hate automated will. messages. <laughs> right, yes, me too. <laughs> But those are the worst. They help yes. no one. No, no one exactly. at all. They just make you matter. <laughs> exactly. But that's so great. Um, is, this is Fresno-based. Are there multiple locations in Fresno? Um, or I'm, I'm located actually behind the Jack in the Box. As my husband says, we're between the abandoned building and the <laughs> Stop and Rob on Barstow, across from Pole Kingdom. That, that's our location. Some people I like go, oh, it. I know where that is. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I am. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today, Julie, and sharing, sharing this with us today. It's a valuable thing that you offer us. And, I mean, again, it's good to know that these services don't have to be as intimidating as people make them no, out to be. No, and I think that, that my business, real estate, been around for years, and people shouldn't be intimidated. And, unfortunately, there's still agents out there that aren't exactly running their business the way that we are all mandated to, which my customers are the most important. They're, they're important. I am only licensed to protect you, the consumer. That's yeah. why I have a license. And the fact that I have my national mortgage licensing license and my 
California broker's license, I'm doubly um, charged with taking care of the customers. And if that means sitting in the house for three hours waiting for AFDC yesterday to have them come get the deceased hog in her backyard on one of my listings, then that's what I'm, I'm tagged to do, is to take care of my customer. It's really great to hear because, again, again it, it always helps, no matter what the business is, to know that the person that you're doing business with actually cares about yeah. you as a person and not just, not just as a customer, you know. Right. They're going the extra mile in that way really does it, a lot. Sometimes we think that that's just, like, um, not real, mm -hmm. that I really don't think that. Yeah. But anybody who has been a customer of, my, of mine or has dealt with me whenever, wherever, knows that 100% I completely believe that. I'm not from this area. I'm from Hawaii. I'm oh, Hawaiian. Cool. So I, I have a completely different spin on any of this stuff because this is not where I was born and raised. I was born and raised in Kailua, Hawaii. And it kind of makes me a different person. I don't look at people, I, my opinion, I don't look at people the same way that other people do because I'm a Ohana family, <laughs> we're all family. That's how I think about people. It shows. I know I look very white, but I am Hawaiian. <laughs> I know I look one bit Hawaiian, but I am definitely Hawaiian. Your spirit does. Your aura. <laughs> no, I can. It's okay. I love it when people say that. I'll pull out my book of my father and my family and all of that stuff. That's where yeah. I'm from. It makes for more interesting stories, I'm sure, too. Absolutely. Which is all about getting to know people. Yeah. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. Thank you so much for being here, Julia. Thank you. It was a you. pleasure to meet you.